So back-to-back -back batters have worked the count full with the bases loaded. Throw a 3-2 curveball to Viegas. See if he throws it again. There's the full count pitch. Breaking ball. Tap softly towards short. That will get the run home. And everybody's safe. Mata could not handle the carom cleanly. And the Mike. Long look in from Barker. The right-hander set. The 3-2 home. And a curveball misses high. Ball four. And Ryan Fenn draws the bases loaded walk. Cal Poly's got a 2-1 first inning lead. Mentioned this is a uh, pitching staff that has really struggled as Stafford rolls it. Fair ball. Past the third baseman, McFarland, and it rattles around in the left field corner. Brown will score. Here comes Steeles on a two run double off the bat of Ryan Stafford. There's the 2 0. And a bouncer. It ricochets off the pitcher. Caroms right to the first baseman, Capacetti. And he beats Viegas to the bag, but Stafford scores. And the RBI ground out makes it. Here's the one, two. And a breaking ball waved at and missed. The fourth strikeout for Bryce Warricker tonight. Not too often do you see that. No, he, you got to try walking. to be a salesman as a hitter sometimes. That's bounced right back to Bryce Warricker. The right hander races to the bag. He will do it himself. One unassisted. And Bryce Warricker's first one, two, three inning tonight. Some extra cardio for the big 6'8 junior right hander. Here's the nothing and two from Rivas. And Steels dumps it into shallow left. That drops. A base hit. Corio scores. And Jake Steels stretches the Cal Poly lead to 6 1. A one pitch. Bounce to short. They go to second for one. The relay to first. And they turn two. A 6-4-3 double play. Oh. Has been very wild here. And he walks Corio on four pitches. It is the second bases loaded walk of the night. And it's 7-1 Cal Poly. The starter, Corbin Barker, it has been a steady diet of fastballs from Blake Brazell. He's got a live arm. He's 92, 91 pretty consistently. Just not finding the zone. Spent the last three seasons at Arizona State. There's the 2-2 home and a line drive base hit center field. One run will score. Here comes Ryan Finn and Kemet Brown knocks in two. Any ball down the line or in a gap would score three. So a full count. There's Caleb Turner's pitch. And it just missed inside. Another base is loaded walk. And it's 10-1. First pitch to York is belted to the gap. Deep right center field. And it one hops the fence. That will clear the bases. A three run double for Big Joe. And it's 13-1. There's the one-two pitch. Six, four, three, a game-ending double play. And the Mustangs get three scoreless innings from Charlie Royal to slam the door shut on UC Riverside. They take the series opener 13-2.